What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I have the Chicago Bears season preview for y'all so let's get into it. So last year they finished with a 3-14 and record which they obviously missed the playoffs and that was good enough for very last place in the NFL and last in their division the NFC North. They would have had the number one overall pick, but they did trade it to the Carolina Panthers who used it to select Bryce Young. So they're sticking to their guns. They're sticking to Justin Fields. Let's see how it pans out for them. I'm not too high on the guy, but hey, maybe they obviously know a lot of stuff that I don't know, but hey, who knows? So they didn't spend a ton in free agency. They brought in quarterback PJ Walker to back up Justin Fields. They brought in linebacker TJ Edwards. They brought in linebacker Tremaine Edmonds tight end Robert Tunyon, and defensive end Demarcus Walker. So they did bring in good veteran guys to help bolster this team and get them out of the NFL's basement. So we'll see how that plays out for them. They didn't re-sign a lot of guys either. They brought back offensive guard Dieter Eislin, quarterback Nathan Peterman, and wide receiver Dante Pettis. So they didn't really bring too many guys back, but they really didn't have any notable departures. Like I was looking through the list of the guys that they've signed and guys that left, and there was no name on the departure list that really stood out to me. Like that I thought like, oh man, they're really going to miss this player. So literally in my notes, I literally just have notable, notable departures. Nobody sticks out to me. And obviously when I did this, when I wrote out that my little notes, I nothing stuck out to me and I haven't looked back on it since. So there could have been a very well notable, notable departure that I just completely missed in my just ignorance. I'm just not going back to look. So I'm sticking with what my, what I wrote out myself a, eh, a month ago. Eh, mm. And so hopefully that stands true for when you're seeing this video and they didn't have any staff turnover. So the same head coaches come back, same coordinators, which is good for a team building. You don't want to have a change of scenery. You don't want these young players to learn a new system to throw them off any progress they've made in the old system. They had a good draft class, even after trading out of the first overall pick, which I, if I was Chicago, I probably would have kept it and then drafted Will Anderson. But hey, they still got picks and wide receiver DJ Moore for that pick, which was huge. They got a good solid wide receiver one for Justin Fields. And they did get offensive tackle Darnell Wright, which one of the best offensive tackles in this draft to protect fields. So very good pick. They traded down and still got a great position of need. They got defensive tackle Jervon Dexter, cornerback Tyreek Stevenson, defensive tackle Zach Pickens, running back Rashawn Johnson, wide receiver Tyler Scott, linebacker Noah Sewell, cornerback Tyrell Smith, defensive tackle Travis Bell, and cornerback Kendall Williamson. So they still had a ton of draft picks. They hit on a lot of them, a lot of good guys that will make an impact Right, Dexter, Stevenson, Tyler Scott, I think was a pretty underrated pick. Noah Sewell, Penny Sewell's brother. If he, has, if he plays anything like his brother, I know they played two separate positions, but I think this could be a very good pick for the Bears. But anyway, moving on to their schedule and my record prediction for this upcoming year. Right, four. So in week one, they have the Green Bay Packers. And now that the big bad bully Aaron Rodgers is gone, the Chicago Bears fan base can finally rest. And I feel like Chicago is going to come out with a vengeance and beat the Green Bay Packers in week one. So we'll give them the dub right there. And then they play Tampa Bay, which I think they could very easily win this game. So I'll give them a dub right there. So two wins in a row. And then they travel to Kansas City in week three. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. Yeah, the Bears aren't winning this game. It's just, yeah, they're not. And then they go and play the Denver Broncos. And this could really go either way. If the Broncos play like they did last year, the Bears could win this game. If Sean Payton does get the best out of Russell Wilson, this Denver Broncos team could be really dangerous. But as it stands, I do think the Broncos will probably win this game. So they'll probably lose right there. And then the following week, they have the Washington Commanders. And I do think this is a game the Bears could very easily win. So I'll give them the win right there. And then in week six, they have the Minnesota Vikings. And even though this game is at home, I do think Minnesota gets the best of them in both matchups they play. So I think this Vikings game is a loss, and this Vikings game down here is a loss. But moving on, then they have the Raiders, and the Raiders are one of those teams where I'm not really sure about them. I think the jury's still out on them. I don't know if Jimmy Garoppolo is really going to change the culture down there. I don't know how well they're going to be. I just I think there's just a lot of uncertainty, in my opinion, about this Raiders team. So 
I'll give Chicago the benefit of the doubt and give them the win against the Raiders. But I don't think I'm not giving them the benefit of the doubt against Justin Herbert and the Chargers. And I think this will be a loss for the team. Then they got the Saints. And by this point in the season, I think Derek Carr and the Saints will probably be playing the best football that they've played all year. If they haven't started out hot, I think by mid-season, the Saints will have meshed well, at least good enough, that I think this will probably also be a loss. This matchup right here against the Carolina Panthers the following week could really go either way. If Bryce Young is playing really good football, if he's coming up the learning curve super fast, I think the Bears could be in trouble. If he's not, then Chicago wins this game and they look like geniuses for trading that first pick and not drafting Bryce Young. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt right here and give them this win. But then they play Detroit, and I do think this will be a loss. So now at their week 13 bye, that brings them to a record of 5-7, and seven, which I think is pretty respectable. They've already surpassed their win total from a season ago. But coming out of their bye... They have the Lions again, which I think the Lions will sweep them. So I think they get swept by everybody in the division except the Packers. And then they travel to Cleveland, which the last time they played Cleveland, it was pretty bad. They I want to say they had like nine sacks and like 31 total yards of offense. The Bears did. The Browns defense just harassed fields. Miles Garrett had a field day. So if this matchup is anything like that, then the Bears are in for another rude awakening. So... I'll say this Browns game is a loss, but they beat the Cardinals the next week, so eh, it's okay, I guess. Then they play the Falcons, their last home game of the year, and this is one that could go either way. I do have higher hopes for the Falcons than the Bears, so I think this will probably be an L for the Bears. And then the last game of the season, they travel to Green Bay, and at this point in the season, Green Bay will have known if Love is their quarterback of the future or not. And if he is, and that means he's been playing well this year. And I feel Green Bay will win this one, avenge that week one loss. So that brings their season total to one, two, three, four, five, six. So they finished this year with a six and 11 record, which is not great by any stretch of the imagination, but they doubled their win amount from the pre from last year. They were three and 14. So they've taken a step in the right direction. They're building towards the future. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like the video, subscribe. God bless.